Resolutions at convention. This is the part where I start looking around for a way to escape, but the bishop will see me. But then sometimes it looks like the bishop is looking around for a place to escape. So what are resolutions for? Why do we need them? Some of them are just to keep us functioning as a diocese faithfully and effectively. And even if they have some dry details, they do support our mission. So here are two examples of resolutions. Which one would have you, or maybe the bishop, looking for the exit. Be it resolved that the congregations, clergy, and lay leaders of the Diocese of Spokane commit to eliminating all use of styrofoam, polystyrene foam, products in their buildings by the end of 2024. And the explanation, as followers of Jesus called to care for creation, we are called to use products that can be reused or recycled polystyrene products are landfill product. Here's another resolution. Whereas we know that children need to be taught moral behavior, and whereas the church is the best place to teach moral behavior, therefore be it resolved that the Diocese of Spokane create and institute a children's ethics program providing teaching and learning materials to every congregation, training the teachers, and supervising the program's implementation throughout the diocese. Which one of those resolutions do you want to sit through? Jan asked the question about resolutions, but she didn't point out one of the resolutions she presented was in the correct format, resolved with an explanation. One of the resolutions was in the incorrect format, whereas, 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 and then the resolution. That is no longer the correct format. So regardless of which one you liked, make sure you always use the correct format. Resolved with an explanation. Who is this guy, Robert, and what are his rules of order? Well, Henry Martin Robert was born in 1837 in South Carolina, but was moved to Ohio by his father, who opposed slavery. Henry Robert grew to become a soldier and was in a uh, church fight in New Bedford, Massachusetts, a church fight. And that made him sit down and say, we've got to figure out a better way to have discussions. His series of books provide a structure for deliberative bodies to come together in total inclusion as much as possible and in order to preserve order out of chaos. We don't have to worry about knowing these rules of order because our parliamentarian and our bishop put together a packet that has special rules of order for each convention. But those are based in the principles of Robert's rules, which are fairness, inclusion, and order out of chaos. You may wonder why we have a parliamentarian, as we are neither a parliament in the sense of a legislature in Canada or in the United Kingdom, nor are we a group of owls. But we are a large body of Episcopalians in the Diocese of Spokane, gathering together as disciples of Jesus Christ to take counsel for the life and mission of our diocese. At convention, we elect clergy and lay leaders to diverse ministries in our diocese, and we discuss, debate, and decide on matters that affect our common life as Episcopalians in the Inland Northwest. If you've ever been in a bishop's committee meeting that goes on a little bit too long, or a room that's filled with lots of people with many ideas to be discussed, you know that when you gather a lot of people in a room, things can get crazy and quick. That's where a parliamentarian comes in. I advise the bishop in her role as president of convention, and all of the clergy and lay delegates in their role as members of convention on the best possible ways for us to make decisions together. While Robert's Rules of Order provides the backbone for our work, we understand that it's not the way that everyone thinks or acts to make their decisions in everyday life, and thank goodness for that. And as Episcopalians, we know that the people don't exist to serve the rules, but rather the rules exist to help serve the people. So my job is to help the bishop and members of convention do the work they want to do in a clear and fair way. One way or another, my job is to help facilitate our work together in a way that is fair 
and that everybody understands. That's what a parliamentarian does, and that's what I'll be doing at the upcoming convention.